Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Here we have the, the new cast chosen, all uh, under uh, uh, assembled and based and undercoated. I've gone for a Xenophil uh, base coat again with the matte black underneath and a, a grey sear, a heavy grey sear Xenophil over the top. So you're still getting some of the shadows, like like so on the back of the banner there and underneath the arm. It looks a little bit grainy on this one, but it, it's got the shadows. Um, so I'm going to attempt to paint all 10 at once. I might start with five and see how that goes. But what I'm going to do is concentrate on the command. So this guy, this guy, and this guy, no, this guy. So the musician, the champion, and the, the banner bearer. And um, try and get them done on camera for you as much as possible. They're all going to be relatively the same. All the arm is going to be the same. The exposed flesh is going to be the same. And yeah, that's basically all they are. There's not many other textures on here. There's a few with leather boots. Um, there's a few with skulls dotted around the place, but it's chaos. So there's going to be skulls. Um, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. I, it is massive. Um, a, a massive thank you, really, because uh, what have I done? Five videos in about two weeks, and there's 13 people subscribed. So thank you very much to them, 13 people. The first video I put out has got uh, nearly 450 views. So that is crazy. I never expected any of this. I just expected myself to watch the video and look back at it, to be honest. I'd never really expected anybody else to see it. So a massive thank you to everybody who's watched the videos so far and continue to watch. So hope you... Well, I've tried a different uh, camera angle this time, so hopefully it'll be a bit better. It might be upside down for you because it's going to be here. Where are we here? And painting like this. So it might work out better. I'm not really sure yet. We'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll do this video in uh, this format and then see how we go. At least you'll be able to see rather than seeing the back of my hand like in majority of the last videos. Um, but what we're going to start with is same as with the Demon Prince, we uh, base coated the flat panels of the armor with iron hand steel. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to start on this guy, the champion, paint him on camera, get these two to the same standard, and then I'll look at these two on the outside here to get next, depending on how I feel and if I'm fed up with painting the same colour, we'll then move on to these ones. If I get fed up, I will concentrate on this these three. We'll see. I'm planning to get them all painted, so hopefully I won't get fed up and we'll get them done nice and quickly. So yeah, iron hand steel, here we go.
So now we have all the silver parts done. I think we have all the silver parts and maybe some other bits that we uh, want to go around and pick out later. But at the moment, that is the majority of the silver parts. We've got chain mail, we've got plate armour, we've got weapons. So I'm going to go over all the trim and all the bits now that we want in uh, gold. So I'm going to be using retributed gold for that. Yeah, uh, retribute armor for that. Um, yeah, go around, pick out all the trim, take our time with this because there is a lot of trim. I'm gonna go around the the weapon, the axe, get all the trim on that, all the spikes on that, pick out the, the tips of the horns. So everything that we want metallic that's not already silver, really. Um, yeah, take your time with this bit. There is a lot of it to go around. So yeah, here we go. So with all the metallics done, that is the silver and the gold. I touched up a couple of bits of the silver that I missed and went over. Um, yeah, that's all the silver and gold done. Now what I'm going to do is go around the the tabard and the the plume at the top here, off the top of his helmet, just there, with uh, flesh terror's red. Yeah, flesh terror's red. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. And whilst I'm doing that, any um, cloth bits, um, I haven't got one to hand at the minute, but there's cloth bits in the midriff. If I find one, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to the camera. Um, we'll do that in Black Legion, um, although like under, this one has got it actually, under the arms. There we go. Under the arms just here. They're like undershirt. We'll do that in Black Legion. Okay, here we go. So, now that's done, I've also painted the weapon grip with Fleshed Arrows Red. Um, I'm going to go over all the leather pouches, all the straps, uh, even the ones for the armour. There is a couple like on the inside of the, the elbow in there. I don't know if you can quite see that. Just there, look, just there. Um, I'm going to go over them bits with uh, Wildwood. Pick out all the, the dark leather with Wildwood. Oh, I missed that weapon wrap there as well. You see that? That one there on the, uh, the little side arm. So I'll hit that with Flesh Terror's Red first, and then I'll go over the uh, the leather with Wildwood. So with them bits done and dry, we've got the leather done and the black done. Um, what I'm going to do now is go over everything that we've painted so far. So uh, the gold, the silver, the red the brown and the black with Targol Raid Shade. We're going to give it a coat over that and then we're going to let that dry. Nice and simple step that one. We're going to leave everything else exposed, uh, wash free at the minute. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll come back and pick up the, the, the flesh and the bone and the, the little dangly bits and anything else that needs attention after we've done this. So 
So now we've got all that done, we've got a nice good shade starting out. Uh, we're going to go over all the armour, so the silver and gold, with Agrax Earthshade. Um, we'll also hit the the horns and any like bony protrusions that we want to be like the horns and bits and pieces. So like that one. Uh, what else have we got? The horns on the helmets. Um, there's a couple of like horns coming out of the, the shoulder pads and stuff like that. So get them as well. Um, yeah, let's go. So, gone round with uh, the Agrax Earth Shade across all the armour, got all that nicely shaded, it's starting to look really nice now, really pleased with how it's coming along. I've also gone round with Grey Seer and I've touched up all the, the bits where I've gone over with the washes, splashed over with the silver a little bit. I've also picked out the underside of this hand a little bit better than it was, it was very dark under there. And so I wanted to pick that out a little bit more. So we'll do that now. What I'm going to do with that is Darko Flesh over the top of that. Any bare heads, any severed hands, because there is a couple of severed hands dotting around. Um, I'm also going to do them with Darko Flesh. Now, on all of the Chosen, I have left the fingers um, with the, the Xenophil highlight uh, undercoat at the minute. I think I might actually pick out the tones with um, Black Legion on this. Uh, right, yeah, the, the hands holding the weapons, I've left them intentionally. The thumb is clearly armoured, which I have painted silver. For the armour. The fingers, I can't quite make out if they are or not. Not these ones, not painting. These ones over here. I can't... Oh, focus. Is that... Are we in focus? No, there we go. Them fingers there. I can't figure out if they're actually armoured or not. So I need to check out the box art, see what's going on with them and uh, paint them appropriately. Now if they're, if they're flesh, I will paint them the dark oaf flesh to uh, tie them in. I'm just going to paint the fingernails as well. I'll go over these with like a black legion or something later over all the spikes and bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, I will pick out them fingers in an appropriate colour as we need them. Right, got that bit done. What I'm also going to do is go over all the skulls, any parchment, um, the drum skin. Where's my musician? Here. It's not quite up to the same standard, but I'm going to also pick out the drum skin with the um, skeleton horde. So this is going to be for the bones, this is going to be for... Um, the drum skin it's going to be for bits and pieces like that so this guy has got a creature skull of a creature on his on his belt buckle there also going to pick out the skull on the base to uh, make sure that's incorporated uh, with skeleton horde nice and easy one so just going to go slap that on Now it's been a few few weeks since I started these, so the start of the video um, was before Christmas, and now currently filming after Christmas. Like, well, as the name suggests, it's very casual. I I paint my own speed, paint at my own time, um, as fast and 
as I, I feel fit. I haven't been well over Christmas, so I haven't been painting much. So not a lot of recording got done. But I'm not here for putting out like videos every week. I'm just here to uh, help help myself and help you guys. Uh, right, there's a little tooth on his belt buckle. Now if it gets to the, the point where we've got like 10 million subscribers or things like that, something ridiculous, then yeah, maybe we put, would put out a video a week, a video a day, whatever, like the other content creators. But I am nowhere near that point at the minute, so we're not doing that at the minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right, so what else have we got? We've got... Uh, his little uh, stone emblem here, can you see that? I'm going to hit that with some Griff Charger Grey. Uh, go over the top of that. I'm going to pick out the band. So let's do that first. Let's do that first. <coughs> Obviously I've tried a new format. Well, not format, but new camera direction in this video hopefully doesn't bother people too much being upside down i did have a bit of a revelation that i could actually put the camera upside down and still have it in the same place and maybe achieve the same effect i'm not really sure so we've gone over that with the griff charger gray um yeah hopefully it doesn't bother people too much being upside down if it does, we'll change it. I might try and change it anyway. Like I said, just put the uh, the camera upside down um, and see how we get on with that. Oh, there we go. Uh, right, so the little bits of rope, string, whatever, I'm gonna hit them with snake bite leather. And uh, touch up a couple of other bits. So go over snake bite level with that look. Just like that. Pick it out there, pick that bit out there. <clears throat> what else have we got on here? I think we're very close to being everything undercoated. Alright, uh, there's the, the little ring around his, around here, I'm just going to pick that up with uh, iron hand steel once everything around it's dried, because it's very wet around there at the moment, so we'll leave that to dry and um, we'll come back in a minute. So now we've gotten to this stage, I'm going to highlight the silver with iron hand steel and highlight the gold with uh, Retribute Aroma and tidy it back up, get it back up looking a bit brighter. Um, and then we'll go from there. So, with the, the gold and the silver now highlighted, um, I'm going to highlight the, the, the red tabard down here and the plume. I'm not going to do the the wrapping on the on the weapons because that's going to be far too fiddly and it's just going to be difficult. So I'm going to do the easy bits. Highlight uh, with Evil Sun Scarlet. It's a bit bright so I'm just going to touch on the edges with it. I'm going to go around all my red bits. It's just, just like that. Just make it pop out, make it because at the minute it's a bit dark. Don't want it blending in too much. There we go. We've got some good folds in this. <laughs> Well, I'm really enjoying painting these. It's taken me a very long time to get through it. As I said, 
earlier in the video started eating these before Christmas and then it was a couple of weeks in one clip now it's nearly February <laughs> excuse me life gets in the way sometimes that's a bit bright let's pick out a couple of strands If you're happy with how dark it is, then leave it like that. I want the red to pop a little bit more than what it currently is. With the new releases out, there's lots of Chaos Slaves to Darkness to choose from. Quite like the uh, Let's see, the Exalted Hero on foot gives me old school vibes of how of the uh, the classic one that got me into the hobby in the first place. All right, happy with that. Happy with that. So I'm not going to do the wrapping on the uh, on the weapons because I'll be there for days doing it, and it's just enough to make it pop. Now the the tabard doesn't look half as bright now, which I'm happy with. That's the kind of effect I was looking for. But what I will do is I'm going to highlight all the the, uh, the, uh, the skulls and the horns. I'm going to do that with Screaming Skull, if I can see it. Is that it? No, that's Flayed One Flesh. Screaming Skull, there we go. Some sort of green in skull. Give it a good shake. I'm also going to do any skulls that I've put on the base as well. But we'll start with this one in the middle. That's a big blob of paint. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the Vanguard box, I think it's called, and the Exalted Hero on foot. Really like the look of them. I mean, the Vanguard box is pretty nice on its own. Not sure what direction I'm going to take my uh, Slaves to Darkness at the minute. I kind of like the idea of a heavy cavalry. So the Vanguard box with, what's it got in it, five knights and a Gorby's chariot. Quite like the idea of that. Um, where am I? Let's do this one. Yeah, the, the Gorby's chariot and the five knights. I kind of want a character... Um, mounted for them though, if I'm going to do that, and the, uh, the uh, character on the mount, not Eternus, the generic character, what's he called, is he exalted on demonic mount, can't remember off the top of my head, but he looks quite nice as well, but at the same time I really want Eternus. And I'm not a fan of doing multiple models that look similar. Although with that one, they have done it very cleverly, where it doesn't look too similar. So I might be alright with that. Eternus can uh, come at a later date. More points. Because I'm not actually sure what my point threshold is going to be with these. I'm not sure if I'm just going to do them till I'm happy. Or aim for a thousand points, and then two thousand points. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. All right, I'm just going to dot these like that because there's lots of little lines there. I'm not really feeling up to highlighting all them lines. 
Oh, them little ridges. Oh, oh. So yeah, I haven't got a, a points threshold in mind. I think a thousand points is a good starting place. Although I've got no list in mind whatsoever. I want to use everything that I've got as well. So I'm going to use my Demon Prince, my Chosen and the Ogroid Pharadons. So use everything that I've got. All right, I think that will do for that. Uh, leaving the hand and the horns at the moment, I'm going to paint them slightly differently. So I'm going to concentrate on the weapons and any little runey glows. Well, the, the rune glows, that's what I'm aiming for now. And any other bits like that. So, pretty much like I did with the Demon Prince. I'm going to make them glow. Just going to get some palette paper. It's the most awkward thing in the world to pick up. There we go. Where's my Demon Prince? There's my Demon Prince. So, like, like I've done it. There we go. Like we've done there. Going to make it glow. Look like it's glowing. Just to give it a bit more of a demonic blade effect. Because I really like how it looks. So I've got some fire bright orange. I'm going to water it down. So we get some fire bright orange. Or any bright orange that you've got. Put some on the palette. Like that. And then go crazy with the water. Not crazy, but enough so it's flowing a little bit more. Yeah, a bit like that. A bit more of a wash than a, a paint at that point. So, get some on my brush. And what I'm going to do, can you see me? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop it into each of the runes. Yeah, I know it's flooded at the minute. That's fine. Flip it over to the other side. A little bit more. Just flood the runes. Right there. Oh, there's one there as well. Look. Yeah, one there. Wash the brush. And then take that off best I can. Probably better if I use a dry brush for that. Get it away from the bits where you don't want it, like that. So you're just kind of left with it in the recesses like that. And let that dry. That's going to obviously take quite a while to dry. Just going to reapply that one. I'll take a bit too much out of there. A bit more. Come up. Come off the brush. There we go. There we go. Leave that to dry. What I will do is find the others uh, <coughs> with any other runic symbols on their blades. Uh, there's one on the back of the musician. As you can see, it's not quite up to the same standard as yet, but it's getting there. Again, just carefully dot it in. Yeah, going to do the back of the blade as well, look. Don't know if you can see that. I've done the back of the blade. Uh, what about this guy? No, he's got a mace. He's got a mace axe. Big choppy axe. Just 
it the other side. Now, this is completely optional. You do not have to do this at all. I'm going to try to do it across the whole army. Make it look like they've got special runey, glowing, demonic weapons. I might do some of them slightly different, but this is my plan. Especially for the Chosen. I might change my mind when it comes around to painting the warriors. But at the minute, this is the plan. Just tap it on there. Sometimes it will, it will uh, wick in on its own. Suck it up on its own. Sometimes it won't. Any on the hammer. None on the hammer. Got some on that blade. <clears throat> oh, we got Mr. Sturry staring at his uh, sword guy. Contemplating all life's means by staring at your blade. Or, you know, invoking the, the runes. Whichever one you want. It's good, happy with it. And there's a hammer there with glowy bits or runes on his axe. So we'll highlight them up in a second or do this bit on him in a second. These are some very nice looking weapons, they are pretty darn cool. I wonder what all the runes mean. I wonder if there's like a um, an alphabet for them somewhere. I know there used to be in the old. Was it? It wasn't called Slaves to Darkness. I think it was like Hordes of Chaos or something like that in that book. So I wonder if there's a that's still relevant. I wonder if you could translate these runes. I accidentally uh, summon a demon prince. <laughs> Just like that. Except some of these aren't all up to the same standard yet. Some of them got silver done, some of them got gold done. But this one that we're working on together is the most, most up to date one so far. Uh, right, what are we doing next? Well, we're going to let that dry because, as you can see on this one, it's still wet. Can you see that? Just about. It's still wet, so we're going to let that dry for a minute and uh, be back in a moment. <laughs> 